welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I am joined by Anna. Good evening. And Christian is in the invisible void. You just can't see him or hear him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Christian couldn't make it tonight. And, but I was like, well, we should probably still do a show since we didn't do one last week. I apologize for last week. Um, I got busy, couldn't make it back in time to, um, uh, to, to host the show. So, uh, and it was kind of a last minute kind of thing. So anyway, so we decided let's tonight, let's, let's go ahead and do something so that we can say that we still have a regular show. So we decided to talk about something Christian's already talked about. Oh, did he already? Cause I, I yeah, I think like he did. We I think he oh, did in one of our, Perfect. one of our little shows and an oof or something. I, I swear he talked about, I guess we talked about the colors and the face. Yeah. Either either we talked about it on here or he just like came to me in a vision and talked about it. What are the other? Yeah. Whichever <laughs> one sounds more. Randall says he's surprised I even did the show on Monday. So there there we go. So I think we've at least tried to always do a Monday show. Like Yeah, you know, even sure when you couldn't. Phil was filling in. Although it was Memorial Day weekend, so we could have like totally just, oh yeah you know could have could have said oh it's memorial day and, and and whatever but uh yeah so yeah, i was out of town or something no i was pretending to be out of town that's what i was <laughs> i was supposed to be, to be out of town but we came back early oh okay fair enough yeah so Anyway, so tonight we are doing Perceptor, Studio Series Perceptor. Yeah. And when Anna, out. when you said you got this, I was like, oh, well, we need to go ahead and do it so we can get your thoughts on on the movie. Yeah, they'll be amazing, I'm sure. So there you go. I always, always want to know your thoughts on a mainline figure here. Yeah, and I, I'm going to be honest. I am like... Lately, I've just been really bored with mainline stuff. Like, I just, I don't know. It's so, like, consistently good, but yeah. consistently very normal, too. Like, there hasn't been a whole lot of, like, excitement from figures recently. Like, it's not a it's not a bad time to be a Transformers collector at all. It's a really good time, but I think it might be a bad time to be a really heavy Transformers collector. Because a lot of it feels it kind of so strange. much. There's yeah. so much stuff coming, so much product coming out with it. And, and like, we kind of talked about that on Monday of just the things that were, like, I just, like, have a hard time keeping up and remembering even, you know, like, what's, because it's like we get this whole, you know, leak of, like, we get, like, leaks. Then we, like, get the figure showing up, like, you know, some kind of leak from a reviewer or whatever, pictures online, right? Then we get it like actually announced by Hasbro and like a pre-order from them. And then the figure finally comes out or like it starts like showing up in places and whatever. And so it's like one of those things where I just like totally forget like, oh yeah, shoot. I forgot that I even had that on, on pre-order. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's just like, you know, we'll get an announcement for something and it'll look really good, but just feel really boring. Like, hearing about Jetfire in the last day, it's been like, oh, that looks cool, but it just looks like Jetfire. The Commander class also looks like Jetfire, and it's fine. <laughs> so we'll talk about a figure that definitely looks like he's supposed to and is right. kind of underwhelming tonight. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think that's the thing that's kind of hard because we've gotten so many of like the good like heavy hitters, too, that it's it's... You know, kind of hard. And I'm glad, Anna, we didn't actually talk about, like, what modes we had it in. And we just happened to have in opposite modes here. So there we go. We did. We did. So we can start quickly talking through the alt mode. Because there isn't, there's a, a sadly little amount to say about the alt mode. It's, you know, it's a microscope. It's as possibly a microscope as Perceptor's ever been. Like, like, that definitely evokes microscope enough. Yeah, you don't get a look through it. That is kind of a bummer. That's, that like, is one thing that's kind of, yeah, because the original, like, that was what was so fun about it, you know? Yeah, oh. and that, you know, that's kind of a bummer about some of these newer toys is, like, when you get the ones that were, like, um kind of like the role play figures you know like the reflector right. and perceptor where you could actually play with them and then these guys are really 
really good, but you can't play with them in that way. It's just a little, little sad for the nostalgia, but you know, I don't know what you think about the microscope mode, but you know, I'm never going to, he feels like one you would like use in scenes if you wanted to make like display scenes, like it would be cool to have a microscoping something, but I really don't like how it looks that much. So I'm probably not going to put it up in microscope mode well, ever. You just need it in, in tank mode. So yeah. And I honestly don't have, I don't have like a memory of what tank mode looks like. So I, I don't think I can reproduce that right now. <laughs> I, so I think tank mode, like literally all it is, is you take what you did right there and then you just like move the body down, I think. something. I, it's something like that. I can't remember. It's I pretty tre- simple. I know the tre- that. The treads are on the outside. You have to flip the treads to the outside, I think. Well, yeah, the treads have to go to the bottom. Oh, they yeah. go to the outside. Okay. All right. I could see how that would happen. Yeah, and, and then you kind of just flip the, the, you know, middle over or whatever, but... Yeah, I'm. I'm sure. I know there is a tank mode. I never had the G1 toy, so tank. it's not really a tank. I mean, I tank. suppose there's been other tanks that have not really been tanks either. But you know, it's it's <laughs> it's not very much. You wouldn't you wouldn't really necessarily call it a tank. But I don't know. Well, just real quick on the microscope mode, it's fine. The the um. The microscope part of it moves around a little bit. You can adjust it. You could put things in the dish if you wanted to. You can't actually look through it. Um, it doesn't adjust to the side. It only goes like this, which is fine. You know, it feels like it should go to the side, but it, it doesn't need to, to be functional as a microscope. So one thing I wonder about is if they release this guy in toy colors and then they put chrome or some kind of silver paint like around the chest... I'm wondering if it, like, would make me more excited for the figure than, like, what this is. Because, like, I don't know. that For for whatever reason, it just doesn't, you know, it's not all that exciting for me. And I guess, you know, Perceptor, again, like, is, I guess the character doesn't, like, necessarily look that exciting. I always thought it was cool because it was, it was a microscope. Um, but, you know, outside of that, the actual... You know, the figure itself, I don't know, is that that exciting, so... He's a very normal, very square robot, you know? Like, he is... He's just a standard toy robot that is very, very squarish. And I'm trying to figure out, too, because, like, when the Titans Return one uh, was released, like, I was really excited for it, and I thought it was really neat. Like, I... Like, I really liked it, and maybe it was just because... That was the first time that we got him in a microscope mode, and it wasn't the um, because they they released him as what a car like you know the thrill uh, a little truck or whatever, thing yeah like a truck thing like whatever and I didn't really like that one so I was really excited to get the Titans Return one and it didn't bother me that he was a headmaster I'm sure a lot of people did so I'm sure this is like probably the ultimate one for certain people where they're like oh finally they actually did him right. Um, but yeah, for me, like, I don't know, maybe just cause it's already got the Titans return one or, or whatever. I just thought that one like looked, you know, neater maybe. I think people who could enjoy the Titans return might actually have gotten more enjoyment out of that than they would out of this. Cause this is just a very, like, it's good. It is totally good. It yeah. is totally what it's supposed to be. It's just really bland feeling. Right, right. It's such a strange world we live in. <laughs> no, I know. That's that's the thing is, is like, it's so weird that we keep getting these figures again that where there's like just nothing wrong with them. And you're like, okay, this is what I wanted. But then you're like, oh, okay, check the box. Like, you know, kind of. Thing. And maybe again that we're getting so many of those figures that like, you know, it's it's just hard. Like, it's almost, like, overwhelming, maybe. I, I don't know. I think for me, like, it's a question of, was I ever a big enough Perceptor fan to really be jonesing for a screen-accurate Perceptor, right? Because he wasn't, like, a favorite character of mine or anything. And, like, he was fine. He was a smart guy. He was part of, the, like, medical science collective. So he, he was cool, but... He wasn't one of my, like, big characters I always wanted as a kid, you know? Like, I thought the microscope thing was neat, but other than that, I wasn't that excited about him. So maybe that's just what it is. You know, it's like we're getting... 
Like, I never went out of my way in all the various opportunities I've had to get a Masterpiece Perceptor because he's not a character I wanted a Masterpiece figure of. If they made an official Takara one, I probably wouldn't get it unless it was, like, you know, bargain price. So I think that's part of my issue with him because he does look just like Perceptor, right? Like, this is yeah. this is it. This is what Perceptor looks like. It's fine. Right. right. Um, I know some people have complained about the colors. I honestly, like, for me, they're definitely close enough to what I think of with Perceptor. I'm not one of those people who actually goes back and compares the colors to, like, the actual cartoon cells unless it's for the sake of an argument um, because I really don't care that much. So I think he looks fine color-wise. No, I mean, I think that the colors are are right and everything on it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. And I'm curious, like, what do you think about the face? It's Um, so dull. Yeah, I I actually so I haven't picked this figure up in a while now, right? Like it's just been sitting on my shelf, and uh, picking it up again, I actually like the face more now Good. than I did like original. Like originally when I got it out, I really hated it, and I was like, oh man, this is horrible. But I actually like it's again, it's very boring. It's not. Yeah, it's accurate. That's what Perceptor looks like. But right. Perceptor was an emotional character. He was always freaking out about something. So it would be better to have a little bit of expression on his face. Well, and that's one of the things, you know, I know that we've kind of talked about that, like, you have not been able to give up Masterpiece because of the faces. <laughs> I love faces. So like, whatever. And, like, they've decided to go the direction of, like, all the mainline of like just giving them the most neutral faces that they can. Whereas you almost wish that they would either like pick one or the other, like an angry face or a happy face or, you know, whatever face, you know, sad face kind of thing. Like instead of just these, like just completely bland neutral like faces. Autobot figures with a slight smile would not look weird to us because they were usually smiling to the cartoon. They were they were pointlessly happy all the time. So, or they were in battle faces. You know, battle faces are fine. I guess really interesting. Um, I haven't had a chance to talk about Holler since we got to see the pictures of him, but that they gave him an expression face. You know, like the third version of that mold, and he's getting um he's getting an expression face. They did that just for you, Anna. I, I think it's really cool because I, I fourth version of that mold. I'm sorry, fourth version of that mold because I'm literally using my art fire box as a stand right here. So I should have remembered art fire. Um, and he finally gets a face, which is cool. Like, I really like it. And I'm mold collecting that mold because I love that mold. So I'll have it. And that's really neat. But I wish they all had expression at faces. Yeah. I'm going to scrap a lot of different faces, but anyway. Um, but yeah, this yeah, guy I, has all the articulation you'd want. I mean, he has the, you know, waist swivel. You know, he's got uh, ankle. Um, he's got a little bit of a toe tilt due to the transformation. Um, he's got the weird, <laughs> like I know Phil, <laughs> love, Phil loves to do the, you know, the transformation. Like you're, he has this weird thing where his like leg can do this. You dance. Um, so yeah phil phil loves to do that um so yeah i mean he has all the stuff it's just kind of like all right there, there we go he doesn't have the wrist swivel the humans don't have either oh that's true yeah, as we've talked about so many times uh, yeah he doesn't have the My wrist, wrist doesn't do that either but no yeah. he misses that but that's it like he has the waist rotation he has good head movement if you yeah. want to move his head because he doesn't have an expression but at least his head moves whatever um, the, yeah. the scope slash arm cannon can't turn side to side, which always frustrates me with cannons, like when I can't turn them a little bit, but it's fine. It always faces mm-hmm. forward it's big and obstructive. I was also a little sad that there isn't a like nice looking way to slain it down. Like I wanted to be able to put it away and it kind of just hangs off the bottom pretty far. So, you right. know. I wish it could be stored in a slightly better way if I want him to, like, put his cannon away for a minute. But yeah, that's just how I like to play with toys. He comes with his little gun, too. His little extremely underwhelming, I'm sure, accurate gun. 
I've never yeah. thought about what a super gun looks like, so I have no idea if it's all, if it's actually accurate, but I'm sure it is. I love I, I love Anna. It's just like, yeah, another, you know, accurate, like, solid figure from Hasbro. Those bastards. Yeah. It's, it's, but it's so funny to me at this point because it's like, I can't say any of these are bad. I can right. just say that I'm getting a little bored with accurate G1 figures. And right. I'm like more of a peruse collector anyway. Like, I like to have a little bit of everything, even though G1's probably right. the only thing I'm like a big, big fan of. I would prefer to get little bits of G1 and then little bits of victory and then little bits of random crap from everywhere. So I'm really hopeful for legacy pulling in some weird ass variety going right. forward. Cause yeah. so far we're not getting as accurate things from legacy. Also the figures haven't felt as good, but I'm just, hopeful well, I mean, I'm excited figurines. for the combiner. Like I think that mo the <laughs> it looks great. Moto master looks really cool for like a mainline figure. Um, and that's the thing is, is like, I actually, you know, kind of agree with you that, uh, you know, we've pretty much checked all the boxes of like most of the A-list characters that we want to get. So it's actually not a horrible thing that they like are spreading some of this out and integrating some other, you know, non-G1 uh, stuff in there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'd honestly rather get... I would rather get random Armada or Cybertron people than the C-list G1 guys. Like, I really don't care if my collection ever has a, a better wind charger. Honestly, I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> See, I would, I want, I want C-tier G1 characters myself. Like, that's what I'd rather get rather than like, but I know they have to do the like, you know, they had to redo Starscream or they had Every to redo time. Optimus Prime or whoever kind of, kind of deal. But yeah, I, I am really curious though, if they're just going to continue down this path of like, it seems like now they've been just re-releasing the same figure, like in, you know, whatever, like kingdom and legacy and whatever, like, uh, you know, maybe some of them have slight variations, um, but I, I am curious if they're just going to keep doing that. Like, I mean, I guess it's not horrible because it's like, like, you know, for example, like the Optimus Prime or the Starscream or whatever. It's like they're really good figures. So it's like if you're just trying to get those characters on the shelf for like, you know, the um, people, then. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be consistent either because, you know, I talk about how these are like boring, accurate figures. We just keep getting the same thing over and over. But when Sludge comes out, I'm going to be pooping everywhere. I'm going to be super excited about Sludge. Like I know from seeing the pictures other people have shared of that toy. It looks amazing. I'm so excited to finally get a like, so you know, accurate two scale Sludge to play with with my other toys. It's, it's so cool. And so I think that's just because I really love that. I love the Dinobots. I think they look pretty. <laughs> I'm a little worried for you, Anna, because Why? I've heard reports that Sludge, the, the um, like, there's some QC issues on him, and he's kind of loose. Uh oh, okay. So I'll like, have to, like... The, the legs are kind of loose, and the I think the, like, <clears throat> whatever, the, like, shell wing parts or whatever are kind of loose, too, so... Hopefully it's just, you know, maybe some of the early copies are like that and I hope so. perfect um, because that would be disappointing. But yeah, like the Dinobot um, characters have all been really good too. The so. two we've got have been so yeah. good. I just, I, I hope there's two more coming after Sludge, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. So. But anyway, as far as Perceptor, like I think for most people, this is going to be the last Perceptor they need. Unless yep. they're masterpiece collectors and they want something, you know, fancier, but also as accurate. Because he's about as accurate as we're probably ever going to get. Um, he looks exactly like Perceptor and moves exactly like Perceptor and is just a little dull. That's yep. all. Like, yep. we've all predicted that he's going to get, um, he's going to get at least one repaint, but probably two. We're probably going to get some sort of like more exciting color perceptor, and then we're going to get the Diaclone. What's his face? What's he called again? The black one. 
I don't know. Christian would know. Peter I know. Would know. I, I don't know. I've heard the name so many times recently, I really should remember, but my lack of caring has kept me yeah. really in Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, there's him too, the black dyed clone looking dude. Um, I'm sure we'll get him out of this mold. So we'll see more of the mold. We might get better faces with some of the repaints. You never know. Because it is surprising what a little bit of pink can do. Like that cup mold went from dead cup to barely a live cup with a little bit of paint. So yeah. um, maybe Perceptor will get a little more lively too. Who knows? Maybe they'll make a more bright colors version of him with a happy face and make me really angry and have yeah. to buy it up. Yeah, so, but yeah, so I, I would recommend the figure, like, if you're looking you. for Perceptor, it's a good, it's a good figure, it's just kind of like, you know, for me, it's a little bit boring, but, and I, I agree with you on the, the stuff, it's fine. It, totally yeah, there's solid. no, there's no negatives. I didn't, I didn't open it and immediately regret getting it. I just think, That's like, cool. I opened it and immediately regretted having so many Transformers, it's just like I have so many transformers that are perfectly good. Why did I need this other one that's right. also perfectly good? But it wasn't like, oh god, why did I go through with this? Like I had when I opened um Spike. When I opened Studio Series Spike, it was like, why did I go through with this? Why didn't I See, go I ahead and cancel that order? I was actually more excited for the Spike. Um, and, and part of it, I don't know, like I just always wanted a spike and I got one with the masterpiece and then I sold you didn't have one. So I didn't I mean, have one. And so it's, it's kind of exciting for me to, to get them. So, and I like them and like, I never really liked the masterpiece one that much just because it would like fall apart, uh, whenever I was messing with it. Um, and so it's nice to have one that's like totally solid, even yeah, if it's it like, not doesn't turn into really a thing but like i know like they turn like into it. a thing anyway like it's not like it's not like the alt mode was anything amazing <laughs> in the actual it movie, wasn't so, yeah. no i definitely know why people like it but i just you know perceptor didn't give you that same feeling i didn't open it and just immediately regret it i just opened it and said okay this is gonna be fun to play with for a minute and right. gonna go on the shelf with the other guys because that's yep, all he's yep. for <laughs> so it, it can complete your movie or you know kind of help complete the uh your movie display so we're getting pretty close right like we don't have a whole lot of movie characters to bring in still i guess like the really like momentary characters yeah come in i don't know i'd have to think through like, i'd have to think through it a little bit too but i think yeah. like we haven't had an a, an eighty six version of the um the pit of judgment wasn't eighty six branded right it was just right but I mean I can't imagine they're gonna redo that again <laughs> I, I mean I guess shocked. you never know you never know but yeah so I wouldn't be shocked but we'll see if we end up getting Studio Series eighty six versions of all the guys who died on the shuttle and. Here. All the guys who got ran over by Optimus and all those biter people. Most of, most of all that is, has been covered, so. But. Yeah, in other places. But I, I just wonder how deep they're going to dig. Because Perceptor isn't a deep dig. Like, he no, isn't. No. But Clip Jumper already was being released. Give us all the, the tapes, though. I'd be, I'd be happy with all that. Yeah, that, I'd be fine with tapes. that as well. If we get those at all. Which, so. who knows? Maybe we will. Yeah, we like this guy. I think that's all we can really stretch out of this. You don't have a lot more yep, to say yep, about yep, him. Yep, yep. So, uh, book club this week. What, what are you guys doing? Was it Revolution? What is it? Uh, heck if I know. <laughs> I missed last week for the holiday. I don't know. Is Revolution something? Is it seven? Revolutionaries. I think it's the second half of Revolutionaries, probably. Yeah. Oh, revolutionaries! Sorry, whatever. I think so. Like that. <clears throat> I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, book club. Yeah, we'll still have fun talking about it. Nine thirty, whatever Eastern, it is. Eight thirty Central on Sunday nights on the TF Talk Discord. Five through eight um, says Randall. Oh, five through eight. There we go. The revolutionaries five through eight. Um, and then other than that, I guess um, I don't know. 
uh, Rick hasn't sent me a cut the tape, so there probably won't be one this week. But you know, you never know. The um, last week he sent it to me halfway through the day, so we will see. I guess so. Surprise. But anywho, so all right. Well, um, thank you to uh, I guess I think Randall is the only one that commented in the chat. Ron commented. Oh, and, and Ron did earlier too. So thank you guys. We appreciate it. Um, and I guess that's it. We'll uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah. See y'all. Thanks for watching. <laughs>